and it's locked. Damn. That means Ryu will have to be very careful. Maus was kind of almost faking an early gank there by how aggressive he was moving, but look at Yankos. Scout has no passive. Waiting in the brush, and he's going to get the knockoff. Quick flash burn. It's going to be followed by Yankos. Ryu, can't Ryu? Chase. No, what? he goes deep. Yes, he got him. First blood. Oh, is he going to go down? He is. It's a trade. A slight moment of hesitation on the side of Ryu, but he does get the first blood, which means an early tier. There's a Cisco on Yankos, but two flashes have been burned, and right now it's up to clear off. Hang on. Oh, no. What? Oh, one on one! Woo! He's asserting his dominance early this game. Ooh, and that lane is borderline frozen. If that cannon creep stays alive, this is a fantastic spot for H2K. Now they want to hit back. Clear love. He's down on the bottom side. He's not going to nail the cocoon. Forgiven with the flash, but the damage is there, and the red buff is real. Repel up for Clear Love. He's going to have to back away. Mako getting sunk by the Q. He can regen it up if he farms safely on a turret, but it means the pressure is on the side of H2K, and there's more pressure in mid lane from Ryu. Speaking of, yeah, Ryu, he's got that blue buff. Ooh. Not running out of mana anytime soon, and Scout is going to get forced back here now. Back in the bottom lane, Deft gets stopped up, the and trap. the trap, oh, he's gonna get it! The heal, no, didn't get the trap, the bubble goes down. Forgiven steps too far forward. Meanwhile, back in the mid, Yankos And I think this is a mistake through. from Yankos, because he could right now be diving bottom lane onto Deft and forcing that summoner. Instead, he's going for the greedy dive mid that will get matched by Klilov. He is being dragged all over this map. Yeah, proactivity here, I have to sidestep, Mouse Ooh. misses here. That could be a follow-up, Ryu. A flash, there's a portal, they're gonna go right on towards him for the is not getting out of this one alive. Ryu claims another, and the tower is open. But even though Oduwamne was able to get the 1v1, then Yankos comes in, they do this big play. Mouse just needs to live. We talked about it. He's not doing it, and this is going to cause problems all across the map. Scout is forced out and forced to use both his summoners. Take mid lane, because look where Scout is basing back. No summoners. What a fantastic start by HK. It's working yeah. well for them to Deft. He's going to try the all-in with Mako flashing his Vander away from the wave. Forgiven is low on mana. They put the exhaust. They're going all-in. He's going to flash the bubble. There's a teleport. Clearlove was taking tower. It is canceled by Oduwamne, but they do hold, and look who's coming. And it's Yankos. <laughs> oh, the Wamna flew all the way backwards there. Kulov went for the cocoon onto Forgiven. Luckily, Vander didn't eat that one. Vander was getting ready to block it for his AD carry, though. So, while well, you say desperate, it was still was very well executed here. Oh, the Wamna looking for a face that can get knocked into the wall. Oh, he does. He could go down here. Mouse might have an equalizer. But look at that damage! He just lightning rushes, and Mouse knows he can't follow. But still, Mouse to get that trade off from being 30 CS down still at this point in the game. But I'm loving the synergy between Yankos and Ryu here. Ryu sidesteps the silence. Ooh, he just stepped right up in front, and there is still a ghost on Scout, but look at what he's getting done to this turret. Ryu was so close to flashing there, but if he flashes at the wrong moment and Scout goes for the ulti, Ryu takes a smart approach, put him back into the base here. But because Yankos is always so close in the mid lane, Ryu does not have to be afraid of getting ulted into an Elise gank, which means he doesn't build QSS. He goes for the straight raw damage. Death also has to go back now and pick up a very late tier. Although here's oh, the play. Ryu. Oh well, he gets nailed by the cocoon. The Merc Threads maybe not quite enough. Malefic Vision's on. He's gonna try and turn for this one. Avoids the sides. Right. Ezreal comes in. The ulti is gonna go just away. The next three minutes are incredibly crucial here for H2K. Not only are they challenging Dragon, they're getting mid lane turret down. Potential rotation bot plus a dive with the teleport that's back up for Water Romne. They survived the four or five minutes of TP advantage and they could look for a second tower in the bot lane because they still have Forgiven and Vander winning the 2v2. Get Odawamne to start stacking up that wave and have a look to see if you can open up the map. Oh no, Scout again. He's got summoners this time, but he is oh so low. Ryu does not have the flash of the ghost, and Scout is forced to use the ladder to get himself out of harm's way. No tower to fall back to. He's having a hard game. Got to keep running as well, Scout. Forgiven. You can't afford... Ooh. He's got to back off. Right now, that's where it is. H2K, if they make the one mistake against EDG that they made against AHQ, it's over. Could be this. Ryu, he's going to get CC chain. It comes Yankos. It's going to be too little, too late. This time, Clearlove will respond with the kill. And Yankos is now going to have to bail out Clearlove on the offensive. The turret goes down in bottom, but EDG pick up a big two kills. 2v2, it was enough for Yankos to be present, albeit late. But 2v3, it wasn't enough. Another two layers of crowd control got added by Mako in in that exchange. And look at how they're playing around bottom lane one more time. We said this is the area that EDG like to attack. Oh, it comes out, Ryu's in trouble. Oh boy, let's see how well the one before is. Now this, we've seen it before. He's gone down, double TP's popped, double TP's canceled. EDG have found the weak point to continue to shove onto Ryu. Now they're on the bottom turret. Only two keeps, but they have spider links, which means this turret won't get the full armor bonus and it could actually go down on this wave. Forgiven, desperately trying to challenge, Ooh. but he's taking so much damage. Oh yeah. 
Okay, EDG, they're backed off for just a moment, but they have found a way to get in, and they've started to close this gold gap. Although now Udawamne... He's in trouble. He has to get out, and that could be a counter Baron here. Quick flash, gets the knockup. He even spends away. Oh, Mouse knocked him right in the range, or right outside the range of the Cocoon. He might that, get off of this. That Q connecting is actually really important because it slows down Clear off. He doesn't want to commit here, and a Baron gets started by HK. So decisive. Oh, EK, no smite. They do not have a chance to contest this. No smite available. They just that's need it. to get it. And EDG, we're just too late. H2K beat them to the punch. All they need to do is escape right now, and they do take the short range portal. No chance for EDG to get back into this one. But we can't talk of enough about how big of a blunder that was from Klilov to channel a cannon in the bot lane. And that's what I want to talk about. However, Klilov's been a little bit caught here. Will scamper away. See the momentum just continually shifting. Yankos needs a point blank spear, but Odo is there, forcing the quick flash, and Klilov still nearly goes down. Right now, you can see the momentum shift. H2K with Baron buff, five members on the bottom. This tower is not going to last, and they can rotate mid easily off of this. Yeah, they're looking for a rise ultimate on the bot lane, I think, with Puppy. Look at the oh, pinks. Oh, here we go. They're going to bring Yankos. They're going to bring more than oh, just so him. Smart. And there is nowhere. Mouse is only able to eject Yankos, but it's still a 1v2. The wave comes in, and they heal. They save the life of Mouse. A genius play followed up by subpar execution here to completely butcher it. They pinked it out. They know Dragon's happening. I'm Mouse is in there. Line. Commander, they've got to get here really fast or escape in time. Yankos gets banged against the wall. He's ulted here. Is this one going to be worth? He's going to flash over it. The wave comes, and he waves goodbye. He makes it out with the Infernal. Yeah, Mako has to be sparse with these wards. They're a rare commodity. Baron dance offs. That pink ward is helping him so much. Oh, go. they go right on in, and they look for Mako. They have enough damage to finish the job. Oda Wande gets ulted by Scout, and they are going to have the numbers advantage until it looks like Ryu gets ejected. Odo, he's going to go down now. EDG might just be able to take this fight. Flash is burned on both sides, and low health part, but they've locked up Clear Love, and they've knocked him up right back to Fountain. They're looking for more. H2K with a two for one. Fantastic move out of H2K. One more time. Rise ulti comes in, and they catch EDG napping. Get the pick and they get a turnaround kill at the very end. EDG do have three members still up. See where they can contest. Well, it's down yep. to 3,000. They've got Mouse. He's pushed back. There's no Zip. spite available. They do secure it. Mouse wanted the fight, but Yankos is going in. They've locked up Mouse. They're going to take him down. They just need a bit more damage. Forgiven finishes the job. Yankos a little low, but they finished off Scout. They get the Baron. They get the kills. H2K charging for victory. I mean, they don't lose too much. It's just going to give them the extra burn. And hey, wait, look for Kennen. Look for Kennen and a Realmore Frank here, because this could be a big fight here. EDG may not expect the damage that's about to come out. Oh, boy. The party portal looks like it's coming in here. And now the trap is sprung. They get in there. Odawamne getting suppressed. He's gone down. But Mouse, his GA is going to get popped. Fander a little bit too low in this one. It is just he a one it. for one. The steal away. Yanko secures a absolutely massive Elder Drake. And EDG are evaporating on the spot. Goodbye, Mako! Goodbye, everybody! And how you gotta think, that is goodbye game! And Ryu wasn't even in the fight. He took a scenic route alongside someone who's just flashing in just to kill Mako here. What a beautiful flank engage from Odo Wamne. What a massive play. H2K get the Elder. They get four for one. They go to the easiest lane to push. It's right up to the top side. Scout is going to have to have the most ungodly defense if he wants to stop this from going. 25 seconds off most members. This tower is going to melt here. They need to keep some minions alive to get into the turret. Scout so easily caught out. This should be it for H2K. Yeah, they, he can't do it. He can't keep them off the tower. Yankos is too tanky. They're going to go for it one more time. And they're going to go ahead and take him down. That QSS, that's it. The ace from Ryu. The last tower are gonna fall 45 minutes or just shy of it h2k they beat hq they beat edg these guys are red hot